G'day folks, Rich Burdess from Datacom Christchurch, New Zealand with a Power App uh, quick tip on how you can use collect as a Power Apps function to push multiple lines of data into your data source. Uh, in this example we're using SharePoint as the receiving data source and the data source that populates um, a gallery that we're going to use to push multiple items from that gallery into one um, one other list. Um, so it's a, a simple offboarding app. Um, and so I'll step you through to the page I want to show you. So basically we're going to initially select, a, select your employee, oops, grab somebody, um, get their information from the Office 365 connector, and then figure out when are they, what's their leaving date. Um, it's a resignation. We're going to backfill it. Yep. No injuries. Vehicle. They've got a P-card. Don't need that. And then just we go. All right, so this page here is a gallery of items that's powered by a SharePoint list, and this is the one I want to show you and how we can use collect to push any selected items here into their own line items inside of um, the data source. So the list of items here comes from this SharePoint list, so just a generic list of, of example um, items that you could have um, for any particular, um, any item where like, you know, people need to make multiple selections. and then. When these items are selected in the Power App, they will push through to this um, uh, offboarding items per employee. So, be, and what I'm doing here is I'll grab the title of the the original item, um, and then I'll also be pushing a bunch of other columns. Okay, so the employee people field, um, the date that the item is due back, has it been returned, just placeholder metadata at this point in time, but enough that I can then filter a, a, an app that shows a manager what items they need to retrieve from an employee on their last day of work. All right, so let's go into the Power App and show you what's going to happen. So the gallery is um, it's just the items um, of the equipment. Um, and then each of these particular items is a check checkbox. Um, and there's only that's just the one check items. And that's just a, a check item and the check items um, text is this item title. So it's a, it grabs the title field from SharePoint and has the checkbox as well. All right, so on check, what happens? Okay, so we have a few things that happen on checking. First of all, I'm collecting any selections made in, in this form to a local collection inside of Power Apps. It just helps gather the data quickly into one spot um, in case people want to make edits. And so I have a, an, an on uncheck um, action as well, which will remove that item from the, the, the collection as well, just in case somebody accidentally clicks the wrong button or the wrong, makes the wrong selection and wants to edit it, right? So basically, this is the item that we're going to grab. So that's the checkbox. So that's the title that will go into the SharePoint. And then I want to grab um, a bunch of other data. So I'm using some other um, collections in this app as well. So when you select that employee, the Datacom guest, um, we grab their information as well. If that goes to a local collection, I can then reuse quickly rather than having to do additional lookups to that person every time. Okay, and then same for the manager. Um, and then I'm basically grabbing the, the employee's mail and their display name um, for um, the looking up of the employee. And obviously when you do a lookup, you want to grab um, a particular um, piece of metadata to um, grab the first record that matches. I'm only collecting one item into um, the collection. And so and the account enabled at this time will always be true um, because the person hasn't left the organization yet. And I just grab a couple of the other elements. So when are they leaving, which is the drop down, uh, sorry, the, de the date checker, date picker um, field from previous. And then obviously the item hasn't been returned yet because they, they haven't left the organization. That's an assumption that may not be right, but basically what we're taking, this is the offboarding task that someone happens on the very, you know, the moment they say, I'm leaving the company um, or they're retiring or something. And so the assumption is that they won't have returned anything that, at this point in time yet. So that this becomes a task that they can, the manager can then edit it anyway, right? So we collect um, into the collection and then to show you to, um, on uncheck, so I've made a, um, made an error. Now because all of the items in this um, uh, list inside of SharePoint, the equipment list, they're all unique. Um, I could use ID if I was using that, uh, but I'm just using the title. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove from the known equipment, um, let's format that so it looks prettier, uh, remove from the known equipment collection the first item that's filtered to match the title of the item I'm unchecking. And that will always find the right item to um, uncheck. 
So let's play this and show you the collection. So the collection at the moment, um, there's nothing in the known equipment column or in the collection at this point. Let's play that. Um, let's grab a security card, um, pager, tablet, some earmuffs, right? So to the end user, I've just ticked some boxes, but inside the app, what's happened? So let's look at the collection. So here we are. So quick as that, I've grabbed all the information I want. So I know when the item's due, now I'm using um, NZ time, so day, month, year, um, who's the employee, what's the employee's email, um, who's the manager of that employee, and then has it been returned, and what's the item. Okay, so super simple. And then let's uncheck some of them so you can see how the remove item, so I made a mistake, they haven't got any safety harnesses, so now we should have three items in the collection. And there they are, the three items. So easy um, to grab that item locally, right? But then w how do I push that through to SharePoint? But the process is pretty much the same, but actually even easier than when you build your local collection. So on this button here, um, I am doing a few things. The first item I'm doing in this is grabbing um, all the items um, into from the known equipment and I'm pushing them to the OB items employee, which is a data source, which is the SharePoint list I showed you earlier. So this OB items employee. So there's nothing in there right now. Um, Sorry, go back to the right field. There we go. So there's nothing in it. I'm going to collect to this list everything that's in the known equipment. And then I do a bunch of other, um, another patch uh, through to the, another SharePoint list. And this is using check um, values that we saw in other fields. So don't stress on that one. That will be another tutorial. But this is the, the line. That's all you need to have. Um, collect to the data source what your collection is. And the data collection process will happen magically. All right, so... We've ticked a few things. We've got three items here. Let's submit it. The collect process goes actually really, really fast. Um, what's taking a bit more time there is um, the patch statement. So let's have a look at the OB items. And there they all are, all three items. Quick as that, um, all wrapped in. Um, so separate line item for each particular element that I want to push into SharePoint, um, or any data sources will work with just the same in SQL. Uh, but it's a really quick tip to show how you can use um, you know, many items of data, push them into like a many-to-many -many type process to your data source if you need to, to, to gather that. And then I can use this particular list to do a lookup, you know, a filtered view of a gallery of, you know, the tasks and the you know, task return all equipment and then what equipment's due um, and then sort of show um, all the other various elements and have a little checkbox in that, you know, against each of these items to sort of, you know, show a manager that they can capture and receive a tick boxes that's received as all these different items as they come back on the employees last day so it just makes it easier rather than having one big long list item um, with multiple columns in that list to have a more simple structure of individual items per item um, rather than one long list um, with multiple fields to capture um, so yeah hope that helps um, any questions just ask away but yeah use collect um, it's your friend <laughs>